Is it really worth it living in Norway as a foreigner? I've lived here since 2018 and I've asked myself this question a lot of times, especially at days when I feel like I don't have any friends, when I feel like my family at home are having a nice time with family dinners and all this stuff. And I really have two key exercises when you feel like, is it worth it living in Norway? Or you might use them when you're asking yourself, is it worth it moving to Norway and living in Norway as a foreigner? So let's dive into these exercises. So basically what we ask ourselves when we ask ourselves, is it worth it living in Norway as a foreigner? Obviously, Norway is a beautiful country and it is rated to one of the most happiest countries in the world. So obviously we want to live there, but we also know that it has a price. We know that we have to leave our whole life at home, leave our friends, leave our family. And this is a really big price. So we ask ourselves, oh, is it really worth it? And we will never know the truth answer because when we have done the move, and we live here, we will never know what life we would have had at home unless you have a light bulb or magical powers. However, we do know what our life have been like living at home. And we also know what our friends and family are doing back home right now and have been doing for the, for the time that we have lived here. So this leads me into the first thing that I do whenever this question pops up. I really try and imagine what would my life have been like if I would have been at home for the past months? So a lot of times my answer ends up being, so I would actually be bored a lot because my parents are doing a lot of vacation stuff. They're not home as much as I am thinking in my mind. I also think that my siblings are available 24 seven, but the truth is they both have a kid as well as I have that is one years old. So they do not have time Monday till Friday to random cozy visits. They are busy and they, I would, I would not have what I have here at home. And when I think, oh my God, my friends, they're all at home. My deep, deep social relationships, they're at home. They have moved like one live in Canada, one live and the other ones have moved to Copenhagen, which is far, far away from where I live. So this also is like just in my mind that I know that if I would have been home, I wouldn't have had my old deep uh, friend relationships um, is what I'm trying to say. So this is the one number one thing that I do whenever I ask myself, is it worth it living in Norway? I try to imagine what my life would have been like if I would have lived at home. By the way, if you can relate to any of these things that I mentioned in this video, feel free to give this video a like. And if you are curious about more videos on living in Norway as a foreigner, please hit the subscribe button and I will give you all the information that you need. Really try and be honest with yourself when you're doing this exercise because your answer might be different. Your answer might be that, okay, I actually have a really bad time here. I'm not. Uh, having any friends. I have spent um, the last couple of years just trying to make some friends and it's just not working for me. And I know for sure that if I lived at home, my life would look like this, okay? Then your decision might be different. Then your answer might be, no, it's not worth it. My second go-to thing that I do whenever this question comes up is to actually watch a YouTube video. Um, I will link to it below and I would just make a really short resume of what she says. So she has three questions that you have to ask yourself, but this is like to a question, how do I know if I made the right decision? Which I think is a little similar to, is it worth it? So the, the first question is, does this decision help me grow? Um, and the second question is, is this decision driven by my ego? And the third question is, does this decision excite me? If the answer is yes, no, yes to these questions, then you are good to go. However, I really recommend watching the video because she explains it much deeper on each question. 
So this will really help you also uh, to make a decision whether to move to Norway or whether your decision of living here in Norway is the right decision. By the way, my name is Sarah and I help foreigners in Norway create their dream life and the life that they want here. And if you have any further questions to me about living in Norway, free, feel free to send me an email. I'll put it in the description box below and we will talk about it on there. Okay, I just wish you a great day and I hope that you could use some of my exercises. Bye!